What's up guys? I'm Olivia. And I'm Kyle. And we're driving and vibing. So we just got back to our hometown. We got some big news to start talking about and some preparation work. So stay tuned. Welcome back to our channel everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. And if it's your first time here, we would love for you to subscribe and join the Vibe Tribe. So I guess it was two days ago that we pulled back into our hometown with the effort and idea of restoring this vintage Airstream, which we're super excited about. Yes, we are pumped to go look at it tomorrow and figure out what we need to do to it to make sure we can move it safely. And today we are doing a lot of preparation to get prepared. So we need to go get a storage unit. We want to get a PO box. We need to do lots of things to get ready because we have a lot of appliances for the Airstream that we need to store and stuff. So we're, a lot of things to do. But first we want to talk about our Etsy shop. So let's walk over to the truck. I think we can do this with the camera on. Okay. <laughs> uh, so we've been running an Etsy shop from the road for the last three years and it has been our sole source of income whenever we started this journey on the road. But the exciting news is that I think we are gonna sell the Etsy shop, which is uh, ridiculous and it happened so quickly. Yeah, I think we are finally at a point where we can focus all of our time and energy into you guys and the YouTube channel and the blog and everything like that. So I think that's really what we're the most passionate about right now and we just kind of are, don't have the energy to invest in Etsy anymore with all of the other things that we've got going on with this renovation. So let us show you where we keep the Etsy stuff first because we've never really showed you guys this before, but uh, you just turn the camera around and, all right, so this is the back of the truck where whenever we're traveling, it is our main storage compartment. Right here in this huge bin is where we keep all of our Etsy products while we were on the road. And uh, in here, there are over 3,000 units and it is all organized inside these nice envelopes. So the organization is pretty easy for us, but uh, you know, it does take up considerable space. So when this opportunity came up to sell the Etsy shop, it really happened so quickly, but uh, now we're totally excited to liquidate all this stuff. In the back, I forgot to show you, this is our packaging box. So we have so many envelopes to package back here. And uh, yeah, it, it was great for the road for the first two and a half years, but we're excited to pass it on to someone else who has the passion for it now. But I can't say how relieved we are to only focus on social media now. But enough about Etsy. If you have any questions about it, leave it in the comments below. But like I said, we do have a seller lined up. So, you know, if you are interested in buying it, it's probably already gone through. So, but I think we need to hit the road because we got so much to do today. So come on with us. So we just got our storage unit and it's just a small little unit. We didn't need too much room because what we're basically going to do is store things that are in the back of the truck now, like whatever supplies are back there that we aren't going to be using on a regular basis. So Kyle has room for music equipment to go play gigs and we'll also be storing things for our Airstream in here. So some of the, impl the appliances that have been taking out that we're still going to use, the awning, any new stuff we're going to get for the Airstream that won't be ready to go in yet. So. It's right down the road from where we're staying, so it's really perfect and gonna be really convenient. We've got a unit right on the end, so it's easy to access and a 24 hour access. So we have no excuses to not get to work on the Airstream and have all of our materials available to us. But we do plan to get rid of this when we're all done with everything and we don't need a place to store all the stuff anymore. We definitely don't want to have this when we hit the road again and be paying that monthly fee. So hopefully it will be all cleared out by the time we're done. So next up on our list of errands today was getting a P.O. box. 
We really like to get a P.O. box when we're back home for a few reasons. First, it's where we can receive a lot of stuff that we're going to be getting for our Airstream renovation, which would be good. But we also love to give the P.O. box out to the Vibe Tribe and receive postcards and letters from you guys while we're back here in our hometown and see all the places you are going. And sometimes we even get cool pictures of your animals. So if you guys want to send something to us, we'll put that address right here below in the screen. Link it in the description. But yeah. So two things done, one more to go. So let's get that over with it, come on. All right, y'all. So our last errand of the day was really to get a Planet Fitness membership. We've heard about this from a lot of nomadic people across the country that they really like to use the showers here. But we thought since we're gonna be stationary for a while, not necessarily going out and doing too many hikes, we wanted to encourage ourselves to stay physically fit so we'd work out here, get a year long membership, but also that would give us the benefit of once we hit the road again, we would have access to the shower system and the workout systems across the country because Planet Fitness has so many locations throughout America. So yeah, we just did that. But now uh, we are going to try to find either a cake or a, Olivia's gonna bake a cake because it's her sister's birthday today. We're not gonna do anything too huge, but uh, we'd like to celebrate it appropriately. So some sweet treats are in order. So we just made a stop by Winn-Dixie to pick up a birthday cake for my sister. It is her birthday today. So I'm grabbing some treats for her. We just got a gym membership next door. So it was very convenient that they were right next to one another. So yeah, now we have a gym membership to go work <laughs> off all this sugar. All right, y'all, so we made it back to the camper. We're gonna rest for a little bit, but then I guess it's time to celebrate Brianna's birthday. Yes, we are gonna get into some birthday festivities, hang out with all of our family, celebrate my sister's birthday. It's gonna be a good time, so thank you guys for coming along with us today. We got a lot done, we're super proud of ourselves, and tomorrow we get to go look at our new Airstream. Yes, yeah, so if you want to follow this Airstream renovation and you're not yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're diving deep into it beginning tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for joining us and we'll see you next time. Later on. <laughs>